Today on Party Planner, this guy cooks to the beat of a different drummer. I cook up the treats and I spin the beats, and it's all about having fun. He's a DJ and a chef, so we're giving him a funky coming out party that's as unusual as he is. With 1,500 square feet of sod, 125 gallons of water, yards of spandex, and every cool idea we could find. For the food, he's cooking up some orange glazed shrimp with water chestnuts and chives. The worlds of music and food are going to collapse. We got a party to go to tonight. Come on, everybody, it's time to party. Hi, David. My name is Jamie Krause. I'm a publicist here in New York, and one of my hottest new clients is an entertainer named DJ Chef. You guessed it, he's a DJ and a chef. I want to throw him a very special coming out party to bring together his two worlds of food and music. David, can you help me make this over the top? Music and food, two very important things for a great party. Now I'm here at a really cool place where Jamie wants to throw the party. How are you? Good, great to meet you. Good to meet you. So this is the location that you picked. Yeah, I picked this. It's a great space. It's a great size. It's intimate, good for acoustics. We love it. All right, so DJ, chef. Yeah. Uh, the combination is sort of unusual. Tell me about him. Yeah. He's young, he's hot, he's charismatic, and he brings together everybody's two favorite things, food and music. It's oh, really yeah. perfect for a party. I mean, those are two very important elements of a successful party. The fact that he does both of them yep. well. Absolutely. That's pretty wild. So now what's the deal? You represent him or, yeah. or you know him? I mean, yep. you want to get him really I want to get back. him out there. He's one of my hot new clients. Everybody's loving him so far, but we really need to pump it up to the next level. I mean, he's sort of over the top, isn't he? He really is. He is. That's his energy. Everybody loves him. He brings both things to a party. Look, you can ask him yourself. Here's our star hey, right now. Dean. Here he is. It's David. Hey, David. All right. Good to, meet you. good to meet you, but come on. DJ or chef? I mean, you're really good at both of these things? I started as a DJ, I became a chef, and now I put the two together, and now I cook up the treats, and I spin the beats, and it's all about having fun. So you're actually, like, really doing the music and cooking at the same time? I'm a serious DJ. So you're an entertainer. I'm a very trained chef. Yeah, and now I'm just kind of doing cooking entertainment. You know, what's going right. on? So the party's going to be fun, creative, and I'm going to take the word entertainer out, because that's what you are, we're going to make it funky. Ooh, I like that. Because it sounds like that's a little unusual, and that's exactly what he is, and that's what totally. you want to promote to the press to make him really it's hot. It's unique. This is where I was thinking, Jamie, to do sort of like the dinner party, the portion that really is going to be the main part of the night. Yeah, that's what I feel would be right. Right? Mm -hmm. But then cocktails, you know, we're in New York City, they have a rooftop upstairs. They sure do. It's sort it's of sexy, right? Yeah, maybe now we should talking. go up and look at it. Want to take a look at it? Let's yeah. Well, let's go upstairs, let's, take let's a look at it, talk about upstairs. Okay. Coming up, we need to create an evening as unique as DJ Chef himself. We're protecting the floor from what we're about to bring in. But where there's a party, there's always drama. I got everything. Now I just gotta make it back alive. When Party Planner continues. Hey guys. Hey there. How you doing? Good. Mwah. Good to see you. <laughs> Great to see you. Hey, look at the belt buckle. <laughs> Man. He's got the one on. On. Great He's got our big night. <laughs> All right, look what we got. This is your floor for the party. Looking good. We're covering this, you know. Yeah. We're covering, we're protecting the floor from what we're about to bring in. Gotcha. Doesn't it intrigue you? It really does. What are you bringing in? Don't you want to know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're not going to find out. <laughs> but I am going to need your help because once this stuff comes in, I have a lot to set up in this space. But I, I, I want to put you down there right. facing this way. You have a whole setup is what I understand. Yeah. You know, yeah. what's the distance? What width um, do you need? We're doing eight foot table. So eight foot width, yes. is there anything in front of or behind you? Uh, behind me I have two stainless steel prep tables. I have my sous chefs um, mm -hmm. prep and plating. Then I have a little makeshift kitchen-y thing, metro rack. Let's put that right here. Yeah, that'll Let's be perfect. Let's do that sort of here. Yeah. And then put you about here. Okay. You want your guests, which are primarily editors? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a mix of different people, editors, but... Editors, writers, bookers, everybody who needs to see him. This is important. So what I was thinking was to keep them as close to him as possible. Exactly. So it's not this performance as opposed to interactive. That's great because in the past when he's when he's performed it's been more of like a he's on stage and they're back there. And that's why this is so special because for the first time it's going to feel interactive. Once this gets laid down, if you, you want to give them a hand, Liz, Ben, um, you mind getting on your hands and knees and getting involved? Let's do it. Love All it. right. Throw some tape to these guys. They're going to get this down so we can get the surprise stuff up. Hit me. Ready to work? Coming up, 
I hope he makes it back. In the meantime, something's definitely a little fishy. It's a table made out of an aquarium holding 125 gallons of water. You're coming back to pick the fish up when the party's yeah, over. Sure. So definitely. they'll all have a nice new home when they leave here. No sushi tonight. I can't wait to see this. Woo! Plus, we got DJ Chef's Paradise Pleasure. When Take Party Planner Paris. continues. We're planning a hip coming out event for Jamie's client, DJ Chef. That's right, he's a DJ and a chef. And this party will showcase his unique skills to key members of the press. We're pulling out all the stops here, including laying down sod inside a New York City loft space. I guess the grass truly is greener on the other side. Sod, guys, listen, this looks great. Thank you. It really, really looks Thank good. So much. we had enough, I noticed, to go all the way around the corner? Yes, absolutely. Anything that I need to know about the sod. I mean, we're fine. It'll, it'll last the whole night, right? Yeah. It'll last the whole night, no problem. Guys, thank you very much. This for all of our parties. Like, setting up, like, it's really going to yeah, create the buzz. Yeah, totally everybody in the mood, you know? What are you going to play tonight? Mostly hip-hop or, like, loud music? Yeah, beats is up, up, you know, tempo beats. Yeah. Um, you know, hopefully it can be just popular stuff, you know? Cool. All right, so we know that you could DJ, and we know that you can cook, or to be seen so far. The question of the moment is, can you bartend? Can I bartend? Well, can you? I got a slam dunk drink here for you, Dave. Well, let's see it. Bring All it right. on. We got DJ Chef's Paradise Pleasure. Take you away to paradise. Let's go there. We're going to start off with a Bacardi Raz, one part Bacardi Raz. That's raspberry. Raspberry. Bacardi Limon. That's lemon. <laughs> one part passion. And one part guava. All right. All right, nice we're going to get that. drink. Yeah. We're going to give that a little shake shake. A little Bob Marley be nice at this time. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll get that in our martini glass here, our sexy glass. Nice color. Yeah, baby. All right, we're going to float a couple raspberries. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to rim it with a kiwi. All right. So what you call it again? As DJ Chef's Paradise I lost my Pleasure. That's good. That's it's a good summer drink, it really is. Yeah. All right. Feeling that. You went, I go. I have right. ice in my shaker. You're up. One teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to put one ounce of lime juice. And we're going to put two pieces of fresh ginger. Mm. Now, we are going to muddle the ingredients together so they all blend really well together. Mm. All right. That's good after a day's work, you know. All right, now we're gonna put in two ounces of rum. And then we're gonna shake this one up too. Smell the ginger a little bit. Smell good, right? Mm. Ooh, you really could. Yeah. All right, shake this one up. And we're gonna pour this in the glass. See the sugar in there? Smelling good. And we're gonna to top that with some club soda. And we're gonna garnish it, only because you've got some wheatgrass going on there. And as a chef, I thought we would put in a little bit of wheatgrass. Test that out Sweet. for me. You take that, I take that. And this is called the Ginger's Island. Ooh, Ginger's taking over the island here, baby. Cheers. Coming up, he's got the beats and he's making the eats. DJ, DJ chef. chef cooks orange glazed shrimp with water chestnuts and chives. That looks good. That looks nice. It's a nice, healthy little dish. When party planner continues.